Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy from Loud Lessons and I hope you're doing great today or tonight and wherever this video might find you. Today I want to give you a couple tips for your real estate investing journey that might help you and hopefully save you some time and money along the way. I've learned these some the hard way, but I use them pretty much every day to help me figure out if there's a property that might make sense for an investment. So the first one is called the rent to value ratio or also the 1% rule. And what that means is if you can get 1% of the purchase price in rent every month, you might be onto a pretty good deal. So if you buy a property for let's say $100,000 and you get $1,000 a month of rent, then it's definitely worth some further investigation. And why that's important is that usually if you can get 1% in rent, then that's gonna cover the expenses of the property and give you a pretty good return on your investment. Now, that doesn't mean you're automatically gonna buy every property you see that has that because that property might be in a really bad area and you, know, you wanna skip that. So that brings us to point number two, which is the demographics. So chances are, if you're buying a property out of state, you haven't been there before, you really don't know much about it. So the demographics will help you figure out, you know, what kind of people live there, what the trends are, what the education level is. And that's really important to know because essentially you're going to be investing in the area for the long term and your money is going to be dependent upon what's going on there. So what you can do is type in the zip code into Google. It'll bring up some different sites. One is city data and they'll give you some trends of what's going on there. And you also want to check out the news for that area, see if there's any you know, crime trends, anything that you really want to be aware of um, before investing out there. And then the third point I want to make is the property management. And I can't stress this enough, the property management is so key because the property manager is going to be your partner in that property. They're really going to be more interactive with it than you are. So you want to make sure you're hiring a good one because if they can't keep a tenant in there or are putting bad tenants in there that are trashing the property, obviously you have some problems. So how do you find a good property manager? I'll have some information on that in another segment, but definitely a couple things to think about. One is if you go online and Google, you know, property managers in that city, you'll probably see several and don't be scared of the ones that have bad reviews because if they have bad reviews, chances are it's because the tenants are writing those, the problem tenants actually, that are you know, probably retaliating against the management company for enforcing the rules. And that's not a bad thing. You actually want that as a landlord. So check that out. I would definitely try to call two or more property management companies, interview them, ask them questions like how long they've been in business, you know, what they think of the area, how long they've been a property manager, you know, personally or as a company, and what they see happening in the area overall. If you can, and I highly recommend this, try to take a flight or drive out there and meet them in person because you want to build that relationship with them over time too because they are going to be your partner in that. Also, be aware of lease-up fees. Um, typically, you know, property managers will charge eight to 10% of the rent every month, but sometimes they'll also charge what's called a lease up fee. And if they find a tenant for you, they'll charge, you know, a percentage of the first month's rent or maybe all of it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but if that keeps happening, like let's say they put a tenant in there and the tenant moves out or gets evicted three months later, and then they put another tenant in and the same thing happens a couple months later, there might be a problem with that management company in terms of their selection of um, tenants. So I hope these three things helped you out today. Real estate investing is such a great thing. I hope you get started in that. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will talk to you very soon. Have a great night, great day, great life. Peace.